Welcome back to the channel guys. So the dreaded misfire code on this Hemi Ram is back. Check engine light is back on. Now if you've been following, I had a misfire code on cylinder one and it's the same cylinder with the same PO301 code. So it's a cylinder number one misfire. So last time I kind of jumped to conclusion. My problem did start after pressure washing this motor. And I kind of assumed it had to be moisture, and it was. Once I dried everything up, cleaned up, buttoned it up, erased the codes, it did go away. But it takes about 100 miles of driving before that uh, check engine light came back on. Now watching it through the scanner, that problem is there. It was an existing problem before. So once the engine was pressure washed, that kind of added to it. A few things to know, these Hemis do have an issue with the cam and the lifters. The roller on the lifter gets stuck and it just grinds away at the cam lobe. And eventually you don't have a lift on that valve and that causes a misfire. There could be a PCM issue. The drivers in the PCM get corrupt uh, for whatever reason. And that can cause a misfire on a certain cylinder. Before we start pulling out scope and scoping everything, I decided to do the basics first. So I'll swap the spark plugs from cylinder one to cylinder three, and that didn't change anything. We still had a misfire at cylinder one. Then I swapped the ignition coil from cylinder one to cylinder three, and the problem still existed. We know the problem's not in our secondary ignition system being the spark plugs or the coil. So the cylinder one still has a misfire. And another thing I like to rule out, fuel injector from cylinder one to cylinder three and make sure that is not the problem also. So that's what we're gonna do now. And if that doesn't work, our next step is gonna be removing the valve covers and see if we can see anything physically. As far as a broken valve spring, or if it is a cam and lifter problem, we should be able to see that while we're rotating the engine. So let's get this fuel injector changed and see what happens. Looking at the scan data for the misfires, you can see cylinder one's definitely misfiring. But it's only at idle. It comes back to idle, it'll start to misfire again. So driving around under load, as long as your foot's on the on the accelerator even a little bit, it won't misfire. You can see that there. I was able to remove the injector from cylinder one. This is the cylinder we have the problem with. And this was actually pretty dirty. Even the screen is on this one compared to the other cylinder. That's actually fairly clean. Now this one I actually wiped off. It was super dirty on the tip. Uh, now that doesn't really tell us anything definite. We're still going to swap them. And then we'll see what happens. After swapping the injector number one with the injector number three on those cylinders, check engine light is back on. And this kind of confirms that it's an injector issue because now we have moved the problem to cylinder number three. So now it's a code PO303, which is a cylinder number three misfire. And that's the cylinder we swapped the injector with. So that kind of confirms the injector is our issue. Here's what we can see since we swapped injector one to injector three. Now we can see that misfire is happening on cylinder three. So that's kind of a good news. It tells us that injector is the problem. Cylinder one's running perfect and our issue has moved to cylinder number three. And you can see that that misfire count on cylinder number three now. So we'll go ahead and get a new injector, replace that, then we'll retest everything. Got our new fuel injector here. We'll go ahead and swap this out with the number three cylinder, and then we'll retest with the scanner. I was able to erase the codes, take the truck for a drive, no more engine lights, everything is perfect. Hopefully I helped somebody out. Thank you for watching.